guys, so for today's video we're going to be doing look three of the Anastasia and Jackie palette. So I'll leave looks one and two up, but yeah, I, I'm so in love with this palette at the minute and yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited to sort of dig back into it. So I am going to attempt to use one brush and one brush only. So this is from the little palette itself. So obviously when you open it up, it just fits in here. Um, I sort of wanted to use this brush only just because, you know, if you're spending a lot of money on a palette and you don't really have the brushes and this is the only brush you've got, then I want to show you that it can actually work with just this brush. So that's what we're going to obviously do today. So, to start off, I'm just going to prime the eyelids first. So this is the Revolution Pro Conceal uh, Full Cover Camouflage Concealer in C2. Got some mouthful. I'm just going to blend that on the eyelids. I've got a new camera, so if you see me looking over here, I'm looking at the viewfinder, because I've never had a viewfinder before. Like, I literally just had, like, pillows and stacked a mirror on it. Um, so, yeah, it's better than me not looking at the camera, because usually I'm, like, looking over here or looking over here. So it's better if I'm looking at an angle rather than not looking at the camera at all. Okay, so we're going to highlight the brow bone first. So we're going to take Soleil, which is this gorgeous colour up top. So I'm just going to stick that underneath the brow bone. So I'm going to take like this chubby side first and just pack that on underneath. I'm going to blend it out a little bit further. I'm just going to take like the fluffier side and just sort of run that along. So obviously, because I used the little brush for the highlighter, I'm just going to sort of wipe off the excess. Or even better, you can take one of these and you can just run your brush inside and it will get off the product. Obviously, if you don't have this, just do whatever you do to get the product off. So I've just stuck tape down because I want to try and do a winged eyeliner with this look. So the first colour I'm going to take is Ginger, which is this beautiful shade bottom and I'm going to take that on the fluffy side so I'm going to be using a very light hand with this um so that's how we're going to go in first and then we can obviously build and add more colour so we're just taking that out to the tape and then just running it through the crease the brushes that actually come in the Anastasia palettes are so nice like and as well as the um, Decay ones they're really really nice as well then I sort of just want to dust off the product because obviously this is going to be our blending brush as well. So obviously I'm just going to take it with no product on it and just go through and really buff that in. Just going to dab back into a little bit more ginger. And now I'm just going to take a bit of edges, which is this beautiful shade over here. I'm going to take that on the chubbier side. I'm going to push that right into the socket. Then I'm just going to take edges on the same little brush and just sort of push it in the outer corner. Then I'm just going to blend that out with the other side, so the fluffy brush. Then I'm going to take this red shade, which I'm not going to pronounce. I'm going to let Jackie do it for me. So this is Wigglies. And we're just going to take that on our finger because... You know, um, I mean, you could probably take this side of the brush if you wanted to, but because I've got such a small lid space, that um, it's just I've got a little bit more control on my finger. I can really get that pigment to stand out. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I actually am just going to take that chubby brush, um, just because if you can see right in my inner corner, it, the product won't go there. Like, my finger just doesn't fit in. So I'm going to take the chubby side just to... So we'll get that right in the corner. There we go, that's better. Then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna sort of run that through the socket a bit as well. Just sort of blending the colour out now. Then I'm just gonna blend these two colours together with the fluffy brush. Then for eyeliner today, I'm gonna take the Positions Formula um, Eye Booster. So this is a Lash Serum Eyeliner, I'm guessing. I don't ultra black here. Yeah, I didn't think it was just black. I'm just gonna draw a wing, so I'm gonna have to zoom out for this bit. Okay, so I know we've got like this nice black intense line, but I sort of really want it to be like rich. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bit of credit 
which is this shade here. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to take on a different brush, but this is just a little eyeliner brush. Um, so this is a Spectrum A17. These brushes are like really affordable as well. Take an eyebrow brush, whatever brush is angled, whatever brush you use for eyeliner, use it. So I'm really going to push this on the black liner. I know you can't really see it much because of the black, but I just feel like it adds a little bit more warmth to it, rather than being so like ultra black. Okay, so moving back onto the eyes, I've obviously just cleaned the brush, and I'm going to mix Ginger and Credit, which are the first two shades that we took. And we're just going to run that along the lower lash line. Let's take it a little bit uh, towards the eyeliner, uh, just because I feel like it all joins with the eye then i just made sure this side was clean and we're going to go back into soleil and just pop that on the inner corners like so so i'm just going to apply some mascara and then i'll show you the finished look with mascara alone so this is the completed look with just mascara so obviously i know some people are just mascara wearers and that's perfectly okay so i wanted to show you what it looked like so i did use the l'oreal double extension in waterproof i don't think i said that but now i'm telling you um so yeah this is the look without lashes and then i am going to go ahead and apply lashes so these are the unicorn cosmetics unicorn lashes in the style cherry top so you can see i've already cut them um so they are pretty long uh really long in fact so if you're looking for something to fit your eye shape then i feel like these would be perfect and then for lash glue i'm using the river the Rivalon, the Rivalon Precision Dark Lash Adhesive. So yeah, I'll be back once the lashes are on.